Hey Earth Signs, I hope that you're doing fantastic. We're going to go ahead and just do the second half of September. For all of you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for all Earth Signs here. Um, I will eventually next week do the individual uh, for each one of your signs, but we'll do the second half for uh, the collective of the Earth. So Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We thank you, Sweet Divine, for clear to find messages for the Earth signs for the second half of September. What do they need to know? What do they need to understand? We bind and block all negative forces, and we call forth the truth to come to the surface for their highest good. And we thank you for the highest wisdom. What do they need to know? What do the Earth signs need to know? And if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. I'm Shannon, and this is obviously Apex Tarot, a pure spirit. Sometimes I forget to say that right at the top. All right, let's take a look here, Earth, and see what's going on. Well, we've got the Queen of Swords, and she don't mess around. That's your overall energy. So this is about, you know, putting your sword up and being in the upright. Uh, we'll see what's going on here, but... Um, this is, you know, somebody who can be complex, but she will take that sword. Male or female, I don't care who you are. Just being able to have that inner strength, pointing that sharp sword up and uh, taking courage and having a clear mind and being straightforward, right? Um, this is somebody who could represent a divorcee, somebody who could be in the legal um, field. This could be a surgeon, you know, surgeries and things like that. So it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, overall energy for you earth signs. So here is the present. Here is the deep past. Here is the immediate past. This is what's crowning your reading and your thoughts. And this is your immediate future. We've got your concerns, how people are viewing this. These are slippery. And uh, your hopes and your outcome and what is crossing you. And another card here, the Page of Wands. So if we're talking about children or starting over, um, we do have two court cards here. For your overall energy, I'm going to take one more. And we have night. So we have court cards showing up for the overall energy. So other people involved in situations with you or family members. Family members, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy along with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And Earth signs, we've got you showing up here. Um, or you could be dealing with also other Earth energies as yourself, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And uh, this is slow moving, but I always say when it shows up in my reading, it's here now. So something's coming your way or has been taking a long time. Or you could be going through some type of a family dynamic, you know, with little children or messages are going to be coming to you. This could be so many different things um, it representing so many different things. We'll get in here and see what the Spirit wants you to know about the second half Earth signs. But if you're going through court legalities, and things like that and you're in the upright uh, or if you're dealing with surgeries and things like that and it's affecting family or you're starting fresh and over and getting new passion or money situations or you know with other people are involved in in uh wow there's just a lot of energy here i don't know why i just keep I keep seeing a lot of court. This person is setting on. So if this is like a divorce or something like that, because the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands, you might could be dealing with the Queen of Wands, and, and that person showing up, a fire sign showing up. We do have fire here showing up as a um, divorcee here. But this looks like somebody who's making a judgment. There's actually a book right there, right? And uh, something that has to do with money. You could have older children and younger children as well. Let's just get in here and see what this is about. But this is about being very grounded, starting fresh and over and being passionate and uh, making judgments and speaking the truth here. All kinds of energy coming out here with those court cards. Or you could be dealing with family dynamics here. So we do have the... Uh, full moon coming up on I think the 13th in Pisces and the sun as I'm recording this is in Virgo still and this is the axis of Virgo and Pisces energy with the high priestess and this is in your now present position here this is things that have been written down for time began uh, and I do see an X here so if you are dealing with X issues or legalities and stuff like that not all of you are um, take what resonates and chunk out the rest obviously 
obviously. Uh, but this is listen to your inner voice. And so if you are dealing with other people, like I said, these are court cards here, making decisions and you know turning a new page and starting fresh on something or bringing some kind of truth out and being very grounded within that you need to really listen to your intuition things are supposed to happen the way they are this is mystery mystery right and um secrets also the high priests don't talk and uh the cycles of stuff also we're talking about the moon energy and using your gut instinct to pay attention to your dreams and your subconscious mind going off at this time, hidden things coming to the light, um, could be dealing with mother issues, like I said, because the moon's here, the moon uh, rules over the fourth house, and that's cancer energy as well. Um, she's holding up a key, the key of knowledge, key of wisdom here, keys to a home, keys to uh, whatever. There's an owl there, and so if there's been some type of mystery, like I said, owls, are, they, they, they say, who, who, <laughs> right? So who, what, when, where, how, what's going on here? And if somebody hadn't been talking, the suggestion is to talk and to send a message and to come forth in, in a very grounded way here. What is um, crossing the situation is either a lot of brainstorming with a lot of people or there's competition in something here. Um, this is conflict and passionate change but it's also an opportunity for growth it is a five a fire is very very passionate like i said it could be just brainstorming or something like that but this this card does represent rivalry and conflict and you know needing to be receptive in, in things um it's a picture of sorry they're doing stuff outside my door there there is smiling going on though here and for some of you this is just you know getting together with there's a lot of people here <laughs> we've got court cards up here and we've got a lot of people in this picture and there's something mysterious happening here in a situation that's taken a long time where kids were involved for some of you what's happened in the deep past some type of collaboration and stuff something that was worked on here Here's your energy earth. Now, this picture is actually somebody working on something. But if you look at it, it, it does look like they're hiding behind their work. And we do have the high priestess here. And the moon can represent some kind of mysterious, deceptive energy. And that's not going to be for everybody. Um, but it also could just be, you know, maybe there had been some collaboration going on behind the scenes where work was concerned or something like that. Or where your health was concerned, because pentacles can also represent your health. Something taking a long time here, and family issues, <laughs> all kinds of stuff coming out here. Let's just go on. What just happened is some kind of new start, and maybe that's what has caught. Well, if, if there's divorces or legalities or something like that, and money issues, and child support issues, and cycles of things, and conflict and rivalry and now brainstorming what you're going to do and you know work was an issue or health or something like that in the past uh then what just happened was some kind of conflict to start something over here's the moon again up here the fool represents all kinds of things it represents a free spirit Maybe somebody don't like a free spirit. It represents aviation, travel, something could happen on trip, on a work trip, something like that. It represents being innocent also. And so if you're going to court for something, and then we get innocency here with the, if this is a page, if this, uh, this is a page, but with the ch little children being innocent in something and some kind of some some kind of uh, situation in court cases where children are involved I, that just keeps coming up sorry guys that just keeps coming up I keep seeing that person sitting like a judge or something or lawyer and I know that's not gonna be for everybody so take it as it resonates we got the emperor at the top here who's gonna have to come give aid well that's what the emperor does takes its war like energy that falcon represents a war 
to go out and to aid someone if they're in the upright. There is war going on here. It's fire energy. This is Aries. And you can also find Aries and Aquarian energy in the Fool. So something just started over or something just caused a war. And what's at the top and crowning where the high priestess is where she don't talk or there's secrets and there's keys of knowledge. And something was supposed to turn out the way that it did within family dynamics and health issues and divorces and money issues. But it caused some kind of a war. Uh, in something or conflict with other people but the this is high arcana here this the the emperor is the father figure of the universe he sees this is control right this is about control and being rational and clear-headed this is something that could be very well known we have a lot of people here showing up overall energy is people it's court cards so you're having work issues, family issues, whatever this is, that's, there's been secrets and something could have came out because the emperor represents a public figure, authority. He has financial stability, so finances was taking a long time and you had to start completely over and get real passionate and brainstorm about some things. Emperors always, I love the emperor. When the emperor shows up, if he's an upright, not a tyrant, uh, he'll come give aid to the situation. He'll, he will stand up and bring some kind of a financial stability because that's, that's one of his uh, um, definitions of that card there. In the immediate, and see, here's here's in the immediate future, the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful, because this is stability. And so if we're talking about child support issues and legalities of whatever kind, somebody had to pay something or it's taken a long time because of that in the past, and it's caused a lot of conflict, nobody was talking, and somebody's working behind the scenes and collaborating with people and caused some type of a war and to make people have to jump off of a cliff and start over and the emperor got involved. Well, it, it, something positive is coming out of this because, like I said, the emperor come in and aid somebody in their home, you know, with inheritances, with, um, you know, whatever family, you know, financial security, sales, home, uh, insurance policy, policies, this is a good order, these are large sums of money is what this also represents here, and sometimes that, that really uh, puts people in a war, especially if you deal with people who aren't in the upright and they, they want to come take stuff or whatever, because we do have fighting here, <laughs> and like I said, the moon, we can't, we have to take all of the definition of the moon. Something was hidden, but it was supposed to turn out this way. What's your concerns is the sun. Well, why would the sun be a concern? Well, unless, unless this is, obviously there's jeopardy here with something. Enlightenment, vitality. If your health is also in, you know, in limbo or something like that as well. And you're having to fight for your health and your family and your wealth and your children this represents your children it represents your heart if somebody had heart surgery I know I'm touching all kinds of stuff but I'm talking to all kinds of different people so take these energies as they flow uh, for you but the sun is a concern now this is Leo energy represents your heart like I said your vitality front stage stuff so if, if what's your concern is things coming out because with them when sun comes out everybody knows something right it's like you can see and this is uh, your happiness your concern for your happiness your well-being being enlightened uh, or enlightenment coming out on a situation that you know is what's causing this because something was secret maybe in family dynamics something really major came out where children were concerned and older children for some of you you know family secrets I'm hearing spirits say some of this is about family secrets and money issues truth is up though here somebody's spoken something how people are seeing this is the four cups People are seeing other people just sitting there contemplating things and being weary and disgusted 
and tr needing an alignment in their board. Well, four is about your stability. We got a lot of that coming out here. Like I said, the emperor will also give aid if there wasn't any stability somewhere and somebody was working behind the scenes. He's working, but collaborating things where health was concerned or insurance policies or family or contracts or work or institution, whatever this is. People looking in on something and they're disgusted or they're bored with what they're something. They're, they're not satisfied with what's going on here. It's, it, <laughs> it's a crazy read. So your hopes is to, to have a happy ha a family. Now, this is inner happiness. This is the hopes. And this is the concerns. The heart, the hope, the romance. And your hopes is basically the same thing. Your concerns is the same thing, really, because this is about love and romance and family and children, right, and your vitality and whatever it is. And this is also your hopes is your inner happiness, your fulfillment, joy, committed relationships, same thing here. Also your village, your home, your town, your country. And like I said, the emperor is showing up here, and he represents... Somebody's, something's known here. Obviously, he's got a lot of energy here. <laughs> Outcome, Earth is the King of Swords. I did a reading last night. I don't know when it is you're catching this video since it's the second half of um, September. But both these energies showed up in a different deck. And so if this was divorce stuff and there's fighting and people are carrying on. And uh, there are family secrets and inheritances and children issues and health issues were going on. And people's families were being jeopardized by some kind of secrets, not talking. And you went through some kind of legalities. At least the sword is up for the overall energy and for the outcome. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. If they are in the upright. And only you know who you are. But somebody's going to get some kind of a judgment here for some of you and get aided, you know, and uh, something was also supposed to turn out the way that it was supposed to. And there's knowledge here, knowing with the sword up is truth coming out in something where family big time is showing up. Family card, family card, family card. Got a picture of family or other people involved in situations here. The moon represents the family, the mother. We got the overall energy as the queen of swords and the outcome, the king of swords. So if there's some kind of... of um, of uh, legalities happening here. Let me have one more card on the King of Swords here. There's truth coming out here because the sword is way up on both of them. Give me a card, please. On. Well, I got several cards that came out. The Tower. Something's going to be known. Sudden changes. Pride and ego coming down. We've got the Magician. The Magician is also High Arcana coming down here. This is uh, having self-confidence, concentration, physicians, being skillful, manifesting things, having willpower. You're, you're using your intuition as well. A brand new start here. And if somebody was really cocky and the tower came down, that's why the tower came down for some. Because we got fighting going on here. Again, another five. And uh, so the outcome here is some kind of judgment. Somebody ain't gonna like it, but there is a there is a win. Somebody is winning some type of a war here. So there's conflict here, where there wasn't anything being spoken. Here comes emperor energy, having to take war on a situation. People are you know in this mode of. Uh, whatever this is, the pentacles represent anything in this in this realm and what came out for the outcome is a judgment of some kind, somebody being sharp and making a head over heart decision he represents the truth he represents a judgment, he represents somebody in authority and command and intelligence right, and all these came out, meaning that whatever this is, it's going to bring a tower down on things that people got cocky within but it's also going to give a brand new passion, a new start where you're going to be able to manifest all over again and somebody's winning this war and it shouldn't have had to go on but it is what it is right because this is winning and somebody winning in the end
unfortunately family is involved and it's a, it's it, something's come out here or caused some kind of rivalry of some kind but there is definitely a change whatever is happening in the second half of September earth signs you better brace yourself and just do the right thing at the bottom we've got the pages where this is gossip this is secret service this is children this is you being having to be quick minded right being secretive somebody really really studying something or spying or stalking on somebody and um, somebody's home you know, this all this is all kinds of this is community stuff coming out here for some people. Something's going to be known. Something's definitely going to be a no, be known, but the the war is going to be over when the emperor comes out. He takes care of it. Wow. All right, Earth Sons. Good luck to you. Let me know how it goes. Just brace yourself. If you're in the upright, you're going to be okay. Because like I said, I love the emperor. He's one of my favorite out of the deck when he comes. That's the father figure of the universe. You don't mess with the emperor. <laughs> He's going to come and make a thing right for somebody if, if you were in something uh, where you needed to be protected with this. Um, with this. Uh, and there's the hierophant. And that has to do with, uh, you know, institutions and hospitals and governments and, and mentors and teachers and religious figures and marriage and your ethics and tradition and conforming to something or not so you know people fight for that kind of stuff and if somebody had some of you had to be secret service and be protected that's what this is and if not then this is somebody just the gossip going around because there's a lot of people here <laughs> and this is actually i want to tell you something i, I tried to do a um a reading for you earth signs and i ended up just deleting it but there was everybody in the in their dog was out on the table and i was just like oh my god there's a lot of people it was just court card after court card after court card so this is also showing a lot of people involved in in situations going to be known something's going to be known but there is going to be a judgment and it's going to be in truth and the truth sets everybody free so quit fighting uh, and i know that's easier said than done but it is what it is. We've got e evil entities that needs to be taken care of in certain situations where there's been secrets. But the high priestess represents things were supposed to play out the way they did. Uh, she represents, you know, prophecy involved here. Things that have been foretold and stuff like that. So you just going to have to go with the flow. It's going to turn out okay if you stand in your upright. I promise you. Good luck to you all. Let me know how it goes. Shalom.